Hello, my name is Detective Klein. You can call me Krusty. Yeah, I know. Most detectives wear mustaches. Well, I didn't deem it necessary for facial hair. You don't need facial hair to destroy crime. May I come in? Yeah, um, I think you're looking for next door. Yeah, right next door. I'm Detective Plant. Thank you for coming, sir. Sir, you, no, please come in. Come you, in. you can call me Krusty. You, that's fine. Just come to the um, neighbor. Just, come, please. Detectives may no, have it, mustaches, but I that's don't. That's wonderful. Let's come on. So facial hair yeah, isn't the best. I, yeah, come on, um, Mr. Krusty. To yeah. deem to fight mm -hmm. crime. It's where the murder. Yeah. So the place. May I come in? Thank you. Just. Oh, oh, gosh. Thank you for coming at such short notice. There's a matter that needs to be attended to by some detective, and you're, you have where's, the hat, you have the wonderful coat. The body. It's right over Let's take. Right over here. Let's take a look at the body. Found him there as I was coming down the stairs. White male, Caucasian, 6'4. Oh, died recently. Yeah, that, you know, that's right. good. Oh boy, this is a tough one. Yeah. Think I got it. Think I got the story. Oh, really? I'm a professional detective. I sized up the situation the moment I walked through that door. See, it's all very simple. This man was a musician. Played his heart out. Strong. Musical. He had rhythm. Suddenly, a noise startled him. He thought it was his hot pockets in the microwave, but it wasn't. It was an unknown sound. The sound, however, did remind him of the plastic apple that he put in the fridge. He went to pull the plastic apple out of the fridge when suddenly, the last relative of the Chippewa, Sandy Feet. Sandy Feet came out of nowhere with his tomahawk bent on the murder of little Tommy Took. Tommy Took immediately ran for his life and ran. Tommy Took, run! Run, Tommy Took! The last relative of the Chippewa is at your heels. Sandy Feet could not catch up to him. Tommy Took kept running until he ran into a man. Then Tommy Took ran into a man who was wearing a camouflage hoodie backwards. That was not all. The man threw a pillow at Tommy Took. A pillow fight ensued, and this is where it gets juicy. They fought and fought like all men fight when they are fighting for their lives. The camo backwards hoodie man against Tommy Took. Why, you say? Why do birds fly? Why do babies cry? Don't ask me. Just then, Tommy Took decided it would be a good idea to check in with his psychologist, Raymond Butt. What's her name? Sally. Yeah. And, um... On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you... After eradicating a situation with his psychologist, Tommy Took didn't know what hit him. A magnum bullet right in the head. And that's what killed Tommy Took. Uh, but uh, there's there's no bullets. I there's there's no sign that there was a gun involved. Hey, actually, I, trust me on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm a detective. I've seen plenty of murders, mm -hmm. and this is definitely murder. 